Welcome, ladies and gents. I'm Dan the Man Munoz. And I'm Mike Stan. And we are Movie Menu Videos. Your weekly video review podcast. podcast. <laughs> Here with the review podcast. on Eddie, Eddie the Eagle. Eagle. Based on Michael Eddie the Eagle Edwards. Go! Go! Fly on my arm, my son. <sighs> Directed by Dexter Fletcher and produced by Matthew Vaughn. <laughs> Starring Taron Egerton and Hugh Jackman. Yeah. All right, Mike, we're going to talk about Eddie the Eagle. So what did you think? Did you enjoy the film? I did enjoy the film. It is a very uplifting movie, I, th I would say. It's not only uh, uplifting, it's also inspirational and heartfelt. Yes. But it's, it's based on a true story, which I'm pretty impressed by. I mean, this guy, Toy, I feel like I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> and I'm just like some lazy bastard because this guy... My God, he's been like so bullied and so much, but he was he so determined to be an Olympian, and I actually admire that about him. And I kind of feel like a jackass for <laughs> doing video reviews you, now. You can't do video reviews, Dan. <laughs> Dan oh, I'm gonna prove you wrong. You'll never be a podcaster, Dan. <laughs> I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> and he has. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> What did, uh, what did you think about the performances, Mike? I thought the performances were great. Taron Egerton did a really good job. And a complete 180 from uh, Kingsman. From the Kingsman. Uh, also, I thought Hugh Jackman was great reprising his role as Wolverine. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Without the claws. Well, he still kind of had claws, but they came out of his mouth instead of his fist. But, um, but it was great. I really enjoyed it. What about you, Dan? I agree. I thought the performances were great. I also thought like the side characters were good. I really enjoyed Eddie's mom and the way she yeah. was portrayed. Uh, funny enough, like uh, I, I ended up running into Mike at the theater, and I took my mom to go see it. <laughs> yeah. So it was funny that uh, I was like, "Oh, this mom is really nice, and my mom is supportive of me reviewing movies." <laughs> Take that, yeah. Mike. Yeah, <laughs> I was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where to go from that. <laughs> but uh, the story was really good. It's pretty. I really enjoyed. It. I thought it was inspiring, and I loved the fact. I, I don't know if this is because Matthew Vaughn produced it, but this is such an homage to 80s films. Yeah. I felt like I was watching an, a, a film right out of the 80s. There was montages of working out. Yeah, there was yeah. the, the typical ski villains, like uh -huh. making fun of the hero person. There yeah. were just like so many tropes. The music was fantastic. Great I music. love the music in this film. It really paid an homage to all the ski films or just any 80s films in particular. And I, it just, but it's, but it's underlining a true story as well. So it was a nice blend of both worlds of watching the 80s film, a typical 80s movie that they just don't make anymore, that we all love growing up, and a base biopic on this person. I agree. Go! But all right, Mike, uh, go ahead and give your rating. What do you think of this film? I'm going to say a dine-in. It's very clear what it is. It's a good it's a feel good movie. You'll feel good when you're done watching it and hopefully it'll inspire you to do something with your life. <laughs> Lazy bum. <laughs> <laughs> I also agree. I say dining and watching the theaters. Now this movie is inspirational and uh, heartfelt, uh, heartwarming. It's also uh, exciting to watch uh, 80s movie, especially if you like it. It's a great homage. The directing is great. The acting is fantastic. And it's inspired by a true story and that's always a fun thing to watch, especially with this down and luck character who was always bullied and picked on and told he could never do anything with his life and is able to go into the Olympics. And it's just a great story. Yeah. The the, the heart of the movie, I think, is to... Um, it, it's, almost, it's almost a vengeance story in a strange way. And what I mean by that is... is He's told that he can't do something by so many people, and and the way he grabs well, his vengeance is by proving them wrong. And he even says wrong. that he says he loves ski jumping as much as he loves proving people wrong. Yeah. And it's true, it's, it's yeah. in there. So that that is you're not too crazy. Like you're a little crazy. You're not, you're not too crazy, <laughs> yeah. Mike. You're so watching. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am. <laughs> okay. uh, so thank you. Uh, let us know what you thought of Eddie the Eagle. Did you enjoy it? Did you cry at the end? Did you find it inspirational? Or are you just going to stay on the couch still and not do anything with your life? Because like, like us. Yeah. <laughs> Get a real job. <laughs> uh, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a link below uh, in the d details. Or you could click on 
on the whole screen because it's going to be huge. You can click anywhere on the screen to subscribe to us. Subscribe and make sure to comment and hit that thumbs up on this on this review if you like it and share it. Share this review. So make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, yes, uh, like I said, subscribe. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Dan. And we'll be back with next week with an new episode of Movie Menu Videos. Videos.